Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it will give you a detailed note on how to manage time off with Odo 50. Leave or time of request and management is extremely easy with the Odo time off module. The dashboard of this module is integrated with a calendar depicting all of the days that you have taken the leave. Each format of leave will be represented with different color schemes and you can find here. Towards the right side of this window, we can see the color scheme representing each of the time of types and the legends describing the colors or time of type. The color scheme feature of this module will let you have direct and effortless access to all of your time of or leave request at any point in time. You can create and manage multiple time of type with the Odo 15 time of module to provide more leave request option to the employees. The time of types can be created and configured according to the company's nature. So it can be configured from the configuration tab and the create button will let you create a new time of type. Here we can type in a name for the new time of type to begin the configuration. So you have to give a title or a name to the time of type that satisfies the purpose of leave type for easy identification and management. Here we can set the approval parameters for the time of type. The approval section under the time of request has the options such as no validation by time of officer, by employee's approval and by employee's approval and time of officer. So you should have to note that the configuration page will change for each approval that you have choose. Then here we can set the allocation request. It should be uh, at configured according to the nature of your business management. After the configuration on the allocation request, you can set the time of officer responsible for the leave management of the particular time of type from the responsible time of officer field. So it should be chosen from this drop down menu. Then you can set the time of period from the take time off in this field. So the field has day, half day and hours. And you can choose whether to deduct extra hours and whether to allow the supporting documents from the respective field by clicking on the respective checkboxes. And uh, post the configuration, choose the leave type from the kind of leave field and select the company. After the configuration on the upper deck of the configuration section, we can move to the next area to configure the payroll function on the time of type. So you can choose the work entry type from the work entry type field under the payroll section of this configuration page. And you can uh, choose the display style from the display option page of the configuration page. Then you can choose the coverage from the section. And uh, this allows to identify the time of type effortlessly. After that, we can click on the save icon and the time off will be available for the usage. My time off feature of the time off module is a personalized time off section for the employees or the user to get complete data on their leaves. So you can access the feature from the my time off tab on this module. So uh, this my time of tab has three options to view the users time of data dashboard and my time of my allocation. So as mentioned earlier, the modules dashboard act as a personal time of calendar that you can choose to view and analyze all of your time of data actively. Then you can create a time of request by clicking on the date you want to go on leave and the configuration window will open up. Here we can choose the time of type and select the dates you are request the time of uh, or the leave for. Then you can give the duration and the description of the time of request for the manager to overview before granting the leave request. Then you can click on the save button to save the time of request and it will be marked on the dashboard calendar.
then you can create and view the time off from the my time off option under the my time off tab in the dashboard of this module so a page on my time off will open up here the user has the administrator role which allows him to approve the leave request so the approve and the related buttons will appear only based on the user profile here we can use the allocation request to manage uh, the profiles efficiently for easy management and accessibility so the my allocation option under the my time of tab will let you create and manage all of your allocation request effortlessly As the head of the institution or the manager, you have the option to view and manage all of your employee time of time request from a single database. Here, the overview, approvals, and the reporting tab serve the user as an employee leave analysis system. The overview tab of the time of module will let you have an overview of the time of request of your employees, and you can change between the days by clicking on the day. today button to view the time of request on various date and here we can note that the time off are represented with multiple color, colors under the calendar concerning the time off type and the date and the employee list is much more extensive we can use the filter option to filter out the employees to access their time off data quickly and effortlessly The approval tab of the time off module allows you to have direct access to all of the time off and the allocation request that are waiting for the approval. You can find all of the employee time off request on this page. So the status of the uh, all the time off request will be noted under the status section of this page and here all of the employees request are recorded as to approve. So you can click on any time off request from the list to manage and overview them here the page will be equipped with an approve button alongside all of the details on the time of request and you can use it to approve the employee's time off so you can refuse or mark as draft mark the time off as a draft by clicking on the respective buttons in the case we have to approve the employee time off request the payslip configuration on time off will let you access a green bubble on the time off approval page below then you can finalize whether to compute the time off in the next payslip or defer to the next payslip so you can configure this based on a format of business management So after the approval the request will be removed from the approval request section and similarly you can manage and overview multiple time of request effortlessly without any employee clutter or misinformation similar to the advanced time of request management you can manage the allocation request from the allocation option under the approval tab of the time of module then you can have a complete overview of the allocation request on the allocation page and here the create button will let you create an allocation request or you can select from the list of option to approve or manage them Here in the status section of this page you can view the live status of each of the request and there are many advanced filtering option on this page that you have that you can choose uh, to effectively filter out the allocation request So here we can uh, filter the allocation request based on the status department then you can click on any one of the allocation request from the option to manage and overview them to validate the allocation request you have to choose from the list of allocation waiting for the approval 
So a validate page with all of the details on the allocation request will open up. Here the validate button will let you validate the allocation request and shift it to the approved stage. So you can create and manage the allocation request effortlessly with the time of module of Odoo. Here the employee time of analysis and management can be a hectic task. So the reporting tab of the time of module will let you direct access to the explicitly detailed data on employee time off to improve the efficiency of employee management. So you can uh, have the data based on each employee or by time of type. If you have chosen for the employee under the uh, reporting tab, then a page with all of the details on the employee type time of represents in graphical data. Here we can filter the graph view by clicking on the measures to duration or count. Then the graph page will uh, change according to the mode of measures that you have choose. Then you can choose between the view option that you see the best for the time of analysis. So here we have the graph view, pivot view and the calendar view. So analyzing the time off is extremely important for improving the efficiency of employee time off management. The module is highly advanced and will let you have complete control over the employee time off and allocation management. So you can refer our Cybrosis YouTube channel to learn more about the time of module and its unique features. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.